A new feature from Godot 4 is coming to Godot 3.5, and I'm really excited about it because it's one of the things that I'm always complaining about. But first, let's see the problem that we want to fix. In this case, we have this platformer game in which we have many elements in the screen, and let's say we want to modify something regarding this B. There are several properties that we can modify, and you can change, for instance, the movement speed. You can do that from here, but what, what if we want to change it from code from another node? In this case, imagine that our game node has a script and in this script, let's try to change what the B movement speed is. So we would need to do the get node dollar sign to level. Now find the B that we want. In this case, we know it's this one, the first one on the list. And now we can change the movement speed and set it to whatever we want, in this case, 50. So this is, this is the usual way of accessing nodes, using this, which equals to the get node, and the path, in this case, would be the same. But what if after changing the level for a while and having the script ready, you decided to group the bees all in one node to control them? So let's say we add a children node, which is gonna be, no, it's gonna be bees. You have this group here, and now you're gonna add the bees into this group. When we try to play the game, we're gonna see we have we have an error, which is that the movement speed cannot be changed because the path has changed. In this case, before it was game level B, but now it's game level bees B. Okay, so the feature that Godot 4 and Godot 3.5 introduces is the access as scene unique name. This will add percentage sign next to the node. And that means that it doesn't matter where the node is, you will always be able to access it using the percentage sign and the name of that node. Let's see how this works. Instead of doing this, you can do B. And now it doesn't matter where the node is, it will always be changing the speed. So let's try it out. Let's see, we have no errors. We can move it outside of it and it doesn't matter. We don't have to update the path in there and we will always be changing that. You can also write this as the regular get node B and it will be the same as writing it like this. And you can also select child nodes of that one. So, and we're gonna add a node like it's gonna be our usual icon.png. Let's say that we want to have the icon here. Let's make it smaller. Okay. Let's deselect that. Okay. We want to have it there and we want to select that icon. To do that, we do B and now we can access it regularly using the icon and that will, I don't know, self modulate color. Let's go with red. And now we see that we can modify that children and to be red. So this is very useful, especially if you're doing UI. I wanted to demonstrate it here in this game because it, it looks nice for the video. But if you're doing UI and you want to reference a specific button, a specific place in which you need to reference, and you still don't know where you're going to be ending up placing it, it's a great selector. And Please be mindful that this will not work once you save this as a scene. So for instance, imagine that we have our player here and we want to select the dust from anywhere. You would be doing this and you could target it like we did before, doing dust. But what if we modify the player for some time and we want to save it as a separate scene? So save branch as scene player. Now the selector is not going to be there. Even if we open it and we see it here, it will not be accessible from this scene because this, as the name says, is accessed as a scene unique name. So it will only work in this context. I encourage you to keep exploring the feature. It's really useful if you are changing things, especially when prototyping. I'm not entirely sure about the performance implications. It might be a bit slower than trying to select it manually like we usually do with the get node, but it's really worth a try. Thank you very much and thanks to all of my Patreons, I really appreciate it, see you soon.